Hey guys, this is Sissy here with Flower in the Desert, and um, I wanted to show you today what we're going to be doing here in our little tiny garden bed that we've just built last week. Um, and uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to put it in one of the corners uh, for you to look at. But um, after I planted it, I actually realized that we have, you know, it's under a tree, so I, I I was suspecting that we might have a bird problem and we do. So what we're going to do today is actually build um, a small enclosure for it so that the birds can get to my uh, plants. Let me show you. So we got some PVC pipe, some bird netting and a few elbows there to connect the pipes and we'll try to figure something out here. To make an enclosure so that it won't be eaten by the birds. As you can see here, I had two little tomatoes there that are gone now, and that pepper is gone. I need to actually take it down, but uh, it was all eaten by birds. This is actually a zucchini that I planted a couple days ago. It's a baby one, and he came out and oh, look, the bag already in there too. And this is, you know. The birds ate one of the leaves already and this here. So right there. We need to do something about it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So guys so uh, let me show you really quick how far we've gotten and we're gonna have to go back to the store and buy this piece because we uh, instead of buying a one of these pieces here I guess we didn't realize we got a T piece in here instead so we have to buy that to finish this part um, but once this is done Oh, let's stay back here we'll be able to put the netting and uh, any shade in the future that we might need as well um, around this so all right stay tuned we'll continue soon we got it we'll take The okay, and then the top? And, and then in the, the top will go this way and then down so that you can lift it up if you want to. Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's do it. And it is not the next day, I just have to change my shirt because I was too hot wearing all black. But it's the same day and we continue work on this.
that we are done. So let me show you really quick what we ended up doing here. So you probably saw up to the last part of the video we were um, putting the net all around the PVC pipe. Um, the last thing we did was put the net, the netting oops, over the PVC pipe. We went this way and over here we keep this open so that I can reach inside. Let's knit it as needed. Um, for the back there, because you know, after we did all this, we were like, Oh, uh, how am I gonna get to the back? Um, so things that we we're gonna do, and this is so you guys know, don't make this mistake when you do it next time if you ended up doing this. But, um, yeah, we didn't think we should have done the same thing that we did on the front on the back here, but yeah, we weren't thinking. So, for me to be able to get back, I'm gonna have to just kind of move this up when I need to reach anything from here so but the good thing is that this can be moved up and down so that should do it um, should be I'm hoping it will be good enough for the birds not to get here um, you know to eat my plants I'm not sure I'm looking here if it's gonna be I don't know. The beaks can get through it. I don't know. But we'll see. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Let me show you what we did for the front here. Basically, I chose whoa, ugh, some PVC at the bottom of it to keep it from flying with the wind. And I don't know if this is going to work great or not, but it's our first try. It's already getting all tangled up. I think this is going to be a nightmare, I can tell, but <laughs> maybe not. Here we go. And now it's all over. And this gets all the way to the bottom. And hopefully the birds won't be able to get here. You might use twisty ties. Oh, we use the zip ties, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before to keep this in place. And I may use some twisty ties here just to close those corners at night. Um, but when I'm not, you know, outside. So, yeah. All in all, I think this cost how much? Maybe 40 bucks to get all the materials. To do this and the size of this is like a seven by four like well it's actually five no i'm sorry five five by four i guess so five feet high and four feet in length and or width whatever you want to call it so so i guess yeah probably a little bit more because the box is a four by four so we and we went outside the box but you get the point um, and yeah around 40 bucks for all the materials for this we were looking online at buying something already made um, and you can buy something that probably looks nicer honestly um, you know with wood finishes and all that stuff for about $60 it's not a lot mu much you know it's not much more but for us since we're kind of testing what's gonna be what we're gonna do when we actually do the garden bigger size area over there this is a good test to see something like this because if we wanted to buy something bigger like we're thinking to do over there it will cost thousands not 60 bucks so we will see how this holds up um, a big test will be in the next few weeks probably we're gonna be having our monsoon season or at least we hope and here in Arizona monsoon season means lots of rain and very strong winds and if that's the case we'll see how this holds up if it doesn't fly out we're gold <laughs> or we may just lose it all we don't know but um yeah we'll see thank you for staying with us through all this process and i'll see you guys in the next one